I'm going to it. Um, excitement. Um, you know, put a lot of work into it, so to have, finally have the regular season here, it's, it's an exciting time. When you uh, look back at uh, your days, you played with Chuck Kyle, you had a coach, but how important was that guy? Uh, yeah, definitely built a, a strong foundation for me football-wise, uh, and uh, really that's where you know, I always loved baseball. So when I got to St. Ignatius, here you have a legendary coach, Coach Kyle, um, playing in front of 20,000 people, which you know I'm sure down here in Texas, it's similar to that, but you're playing in front of a lot of people. It's it's the um, you know, electrifying kind of crowd and, and excitement. That's really where my love from baseball really turned to football. So proud of you. Yeah, I, you know, I, when I go home, yeah. Proud of you to see the Chiefs and come with the front set with Justin Houston, Tom Holly. How important is it just to get the football out quickly and be very decisive in what you do just because of the quickness that they usually penetrate the pocket? Sure, I mean they're you know they're two of the top guys in the league when it comes to pass rush, and then you mix in some of those other veteran guys that they have in there. Um, obviously, that's that's one of the strengths, but also you know the way that they play it allows the guys in the back end to play well too. So obviously, we're very aware of those guys. When you guys when uh, when Bill announced he was the starter, he said one of the things he wanted to see was the offense being able to get some more consistency. Of, you know, knowing who the guys have you seen that in the last two weeks? I think, you know, for us, um, now as you get down to the 53-man roster, you know who's going to be out there. That's kind of always going to come, I think. So, um, you know, you're getting more reps of the guys that are going to be playing, and, and um, you're, you're kind of tweaking things and, and getting them fine-tuned. So I think, um, you know, we've improved, but we have a long way to go. Right, what do you expect from the running backs? Uh, the preseason a little hard to judge. Yeah. It's not your the game plan. What do you sure. expect from the running backs? Yeah, I have a lot of faith in all those guys. I mean, I told you before, I was on the other side of a Blues coming out party last year, 200 yards rushing. So, um, you know, between him, Polk, obviously he's made a name for himself with, with the hard knocks, the bang bang chicken and shrimp, um, Grimes, you know, all those guys are, are more than capable of, of carrying the load. regular season start as the guy with RG, talking about excitement. What other emotions do you have as you head into this one? Yeah, really, I think excitement is probably the, the best one to describe it. Um, you know, I haven't played a regular season game here since my rookie year when I was with the Patriots. And, um, you know, I remember the crowd being loud then. And, and now, you know, from what I hear, you know, when they start playing turn down for what, you know, this place is going to be rocking. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And, um, you know, I've heard how great the fans are. Obviously, I was able to experience it for those first two preseason games. But, like I said, those are preseason games. So I know that, you know, the fans will be ready to be coming uh, on Sunday. So you like that song? Then? Oh, yeah. How have the last five weeks been different for you this year leading up to starting the opener than they were for you last year, maybe mentally? Um, I don't know. It's hard to compare. I think for me, um, you know, I'm just excited to be where I'm at. Um, I feel really at home here as far as, you know, knowing the coaches, knowing the system, getting to know my teammates. Um, you know, I can't say enough about those guys, the guys that are in that locker room. We come out every day and we work really hard. And, um, you know, there's really never a, a time where you see guys kind of taking a playoff. I think we go hard every play, every, you know, it's hot out there. We push through that, um, you know, so I think really you look around, you see the mental toughness in that, in that locker room, and it's one of the best I've been around. You have pretty good confidence in what you and your offensive guys can do, so you can't focus on Kansas City and have a feeling of what will work. What you yeah, like for sure. Do. I think it, it, once you get past training camp and you get into the regular season, you really you know start looking at the other teams you're going to be playing. So we put a lot of time in on studying Kansas City. Have, have a ton of respect for them. You know, we talked about their front their front seven, and then you look at the guys in the back end. And, when those guys in the front seven are kidnapped with the quarterback, those guys in the back end are making plays. So we have a lot of respect for those guys, and you know we're doing our best to prepare for them. I'm not trying to get you to talk about the past, but moving forward, do you see this as a second chance for you, another opportunity to prove that you are a 16-game NFL starting quarterback that can win and put a team in the playoffs? I think obviously I'm thankful for this opportunity, and I've worked hard to get back to to this point. So you know, really for me at this point. It's um, you know the work really starts, and you got to take it one day at a time, one game at a time. So for me, I'm so focused on you know how we're going to beat Kansas City. That's all that's going through my mind as I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I'm thinking about what they're going to do in the red area, what what, what they're going to how they're going to play us on third down. I think that's the only really mentality you can take um, towards this position as being a quarterback in the NFL. Brian, are you confident about you know you guys didn't get much work on you know under the lights so to speak, but to carry you know the the 
passing relationship with DeAndre Hopkins, Cecil Shorts, and Nate Washington from practice field to Sunday. Do you feel like you guys are getting enough out there on the practice field that it's an easy transition? Yeah, for sure. I think you know the, the only time you really truly feel prepared and uh, ready to go is when you know you've put the work in. And, and I know that you know between me and, and all of those receivers, we've put a ton of amount of work in, a ton of reps, um, a ton of meeting time. I think we're all on the same page. So um, you know, I feel really good about that.